So you say you went to the prison for manslaughter? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you used to serve God before? Yes. Yeah. I went out back out in the world and started getting high again. Because I was upset about, I had to raise these five kids by myself. And I know I didn't make them by myself. Right. Going through a lot of changes, you know. It's not easy giving your life to the Lord when you've been in the world. Because your family, if your family don't accept you being uh, Christ-led, then who is, you know? Exactly. I went back in the world, and I got in prison, went to court. First, the man tried to give me 30 years. And God woke me up that night and said the lawyer was coming. He said, don't sign the paper. I didn't know anything about jail and court, but God did. The lawyer came back the second time for 20 years. And God woke me up that night. He said, don't sign the papers. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. He just showed me that night. Yes, so he, so he woke me up the third night. And he told me, the lawyer is coming. Sign the paper. He going to say 10 years, but you won't spend 10 years. And then after you sign the paper, while you still down in the prison, I want you to testify and tell the people in prison that you leave it before 10 years. Hallelujah. He, he said Hallelujah. they might think you're crazy, but you just wait and show them. <laughs> when the guard came yes. and I heard him holler, he said, Mother Bennett, you got to get out of here. I said, what's wrong with him? He said, Mother Bennett, I'm telling you, you, you got to go. He said, but they told me to put you out then. And, I, and it hit me, I said, oh my God, I'm going home. I went out of there with my shower shoes on and my pajamas, y'all. And I was had a walker. Hallelujah. I went flying out of there. Do you know them inmates, they made me feel like the queen was live, leaving. Wow. They was all that on that side, yeah, you all was. on that side. Was. And then what they were saying, pray for me, mother. Don't forget me, grandma, you know. And I just said, I won't. I won't forget you. I ain't right. had, you know, when I got over to the other side, that building where he told me to go, and the guard said to me, you need to change clothes, sister? I said, yes, sir. He said, what you got? I said, I got a t-shirt, and the young girl made, made a, a skirt for me out of a pair of sweatpants, because I don't wear pants. What well, pertains towards a man, a woman don't wear. If you're really on a mission for the Lord, because we, you didn't come with that shirt, you know. And I don't care, cause I'm a lady anyway. Exactly. If I'm gonna be a lady, I'm gonna be a lady we all the way. Lady, we need the mothers you know, like you in this country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, and That's I thank and I praise. I thank and praise yeah. God. So how many years you you, you stay? I served four years and three months. Wow. Instead of ten. Let, let me get it. It's, it's supposed to be ten years. Mm -hmm. And he told me he. He used the uh, Bible school teacher one Wednesday in Bible school over here at District Jail before they sent me to uh, Virginia, the Women's State Penitentiary. She told me, she called me one day, we was in Bible class. She said, Sister Bennett, stand up. I got a word from you. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, Lord, what's she got to tell me now? She said, God say, when you be released, he wants you to go to the, to the place where you used to buy drugs at for yourself. I said, why go back down there, Lord Jesus? So, you know, that's what I did. I got myself together. I had to stay in the shelter for a year. But God told me, don't worry about it. But I live in a place that looked like a millionaire lived in it, believe it or not, y'all. Oh, wow. He gave me the best that I ever had in the my best. life. That's Amen. right. That's and right. I mean, it's beautiful, too. The best of both and worlds. And I thank and I praise God mm -hmm. that I choose to walk this way. That's right. Because this way... It's the best way. Y'all believe what I'm saying. I'm I telling you. you. I believe you. Know, man, I'm I a believe. mother that raised five kids. I believe. Yes. I believe. I lost one. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I lost a grandson not too long I'm so ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. But it's all right, though. Because you know what? It's all right, though. Because you know what? He told me, he said, this happened for a reason. Yes, it did. All the yes, stuff that you've been through with your family, yes, it did. I'm getting ready to use you to bring yes, them back to, to where they come to from. Where they come from. They don't understand. That's right. That's right. But you understand, they exactly. run it. They run exactly. it. All them backsliders in your family, yeah. they be back too. Mm -hmm. So just wait on me. Hold on. Wait on the and Lord. And keep the faith. Wait on the Lord. And just witness to them when they exactly. come past your family. Because I believe knees. God for everything. He exactly. sure made a believer out of me. That's it. Because you know what? If anybody would have told me, other than my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Christ. I wouldn't have believed that. Right. You know? I mean, it takes, it takes faith. 
to believe what God can do. That is so true. And going and going to church in the prison, and the chaplain keep telling me, they over there. You know, uh, just mother, he called me mother. He said, Mother, you so blessed that the prisoners are scared of you. Oh, Lord.